Hi, my name is Justin Price and I'm the creator of the Biomechanics Method Corrective Exercise Specialist Program. Her big toes are not quite straight either. So this would be a straight big toe. Her toe is pointed slightly towards, or it's pushed slightly towards the lesser toes. So that's called hallux valgus, and it just means that this big toe has moved towards the lesser toes. I'm going to make it a bit worse because you'll see this on people. That's it, great. So you'll see that that big toe starts to smush in towards the lesser toes, and on some people it'll actually start to turn this way. So it'll really start to get out and make it really bad on you, Sarah. That's what it'll start to look like. Okay, and that's because the more she transfers weight in this way, you can actually even see that, the big toe scrunches into the lesser toes and starts to turn this way. And you'll see that being very obvious on people who habitually overpronate. So these are some of the visual cues we're looking for, is that abducted foot position, the irritation on the big toe, calluses on the inside of the big toe, the big toe not being straight. And as the big toe starts to smush into these lesser toes, so smush that that way, what will start to happen is you'll start to uh, create not enough space for the lesser toes and they'll start to scrunch up like hammer toes or claw toes. Sarah doesn't have that, um, but you'll start to see that on some clients who have a very abducted foot position, is as the toe smashes into these little toes, they'll claw up and create hammer toes. So they'll be scrunched up and bent in these uh, first joint and sometimes even the second joint of all these lesser toes. So those are some of our visual cues uh, for overpronation. And now I'm going to move on to a hands-on assessment of the talus bone to see if my assessments or my visual assessments agree with my hands-on assessments.